Hi, my name is Brian Flynn. I'm the project manager for the Gene Isfasi project. Uh, this is a project to install the capability to store nuclear fuel dry on the Gene site so that the plant can continue to operate well into the future. The project involved a number of canisters, and all the capital mods associated with loading these canisters and transporting them to a facility that can store them for, for long term. Part of this process was the transporter. Uh, for the transporter, we incorporated for the first time uh, a, a self-propelled modular transporter from the Dorfer company. The transporter is capable of handling our entire canister load, which is approximately 125 tons when fully loaded. This canister uh, is in a horizontal position. It has to be transported approximately a quarter of a mile outside on a designated heavy haul path in order to take the fuel from where it's loaded in our spent fuel pool to the final location where the long-term storage modules are located. We saw the self-propelled modular transporter as a significant upgrade to the existing self-leveling trailer and cab that would normally be used for this kind of a situation. We saw this as an upgrade for several reasons. Uh, first, from a safety standpoint, uh, the modular transporter involves the ability to be controlled from a, a distance from the transporter as it's moving, minimizing radiation dose to the employees. Also, it, it doesn't contain uh, linkage, mechanical linkage to drive the tires together as several of the transporters have, uh, which have been problematic. The SPMT is able to level and adjust to very tight tolerances so that a separate leveling system is not required to align to the horizontal storage module. Now, this in and of itself is a significant benefit over the existing systems available. The transporter itself is, a, is relatively flat with the ability to raise and lower up to 10 inches uh, and level in any quadrant. It can travel transversely, uh, straight back and forward. It can travel in circles. We've seen other uses for this transporter. We're currently looking at making alternate skids for our refueling outage to be able to move other heavy components with the transporter. As of this time, we've completed four campaigns with the self-propelled modular transporter. Uh, we have had no significant issues with the transporter. Good level of confidence, both from the maintenance personnel and our safety personnel who watch it being utilized. 